Welcome back to Mycology Exploration. In this video, I wanted to just show you what it looks like when we put our substrate to tubs. I've been creating these videos in sequence here so you can see video to video the process from creating the substrate on the stovetop, bringing it to 140 degrees pasteurization, and then we use a pillowcase to strain, drain the excess water out. And then we put it directly in these tubs. So you can see here we have the tops on and you can see the tubs that we use, 16 quarts. This is one brick of cocoa a half a bag of vermiculite, a 50-50 substrate blend. And you can see here, it's very loose in the tub because we're gonna give birth to the jars, the colonized jars. And then we'll put these tops back on while the jars colonize once more in the tub. And then we'll take these tops, these lids off and put our fruiting tops on, which are just the same as this, but they've been modified for airflow, air exchange. So we have our WBS, our wild bird seed that has colonized, and it actually looks really good. <laughs> this is a really rare, type of fungi mushroom and it looks perfect. We're very pleased. And what I will do is take the top off, the lid off of the jar. I will use a sterilized knife to just kind of break up the bird seed. And then I will birth it into the substrate and I will use gloves, spray them with alcohol <laughs> and then mix the colonized bird seed with the substrate. And then I will create a nice flat surface on the top and put these lids, these tops back on, put it in our cabinet until this is colonized and ready for fruiting. So we use four to five of these jars per tub. We have a recipe. We've been growing mushrooms for a very long time, many, many different types, gourmet and medicinal. And so we have experimented so much. And with this type of mushroom, we're gonna be putting five jars of colonized WBS or grain. We use bird seed, we do not use rice. And this is what it looks like. We'll see you in the next video. Much love.